on average, a grouping game will be harder than an ordering game. Okay. But of course, it can vary based on the specifics. So for example, in prep tests 50, 51, and 52, there were three consecutive numbered exams that contained complex ordering games where the rules were a little bit tricky mm -hmm. and a little bit unfamiliar. So of course, it's worth looking at those if you want to get a sense of like the A is before B, but after C, but not both rules like that, which were a little bit tougher. Like that's a hard order, ordering game. And there are some relatively easier grouping games, but on average, ordering is easiest. Grouping is moderate. Combinations of both are more complex. And then you have the rare game types like mapping, pattern, circle that are a little bit harder on average, or at least because they're more rare, they're more unfamiliar. And so they seem harder as a result to the average test taker. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.